Welcome in the ninth episode. Today we will start implementing the selection square logic. If you did not subscribe to this channel yet, please consider to do so. Hit the subscribe button down below this video and turn on notification so you, you will not miss any future releases. In the last episode we have implemented the creation of our of our board in the game. So now when you start the game you should have the puzzles this visible, but there is no interaction between the player and the puzzles yet. So today we will implement the way how we can select one square and then drag our mouse across to select the, 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 the specific line. So you will be able to select square by mouse or by touch input on your mobile devices. Okay, so let's get started. Let's open our project, open the game scene. And first of all, let's add a few scripts. So I will go to the scripts folder and then right click create C sharp script and I will call this script game events. Okay, and then let's open the script now. So we can remove the start and then update method from the script. We can remove the inherit this mono behavior and ma let's make this class static. So after the public, I will put static keyword. The reason we make it static, so we don't have to create instance of this class, we can use all of the function itself without creating the instance. Okay, so now let's create the first the first event. So first of all, let's create a delegate public delegate void, and I will call it enable square selection. Okay, and then next we want to create a public static. And this is going to be event. So let's copy this name, enable square selection, and I will call it on enable square selection. Okay. And then let's create the static method. So public static void. And I will call it enable square selection method. Okay, and then we need to check if the on enable square selection is not equal null. We want to call on enable square selection. So this is the first event we need. So I will put small separator. Okay, let's copy this the whole event and let's uh, let's create another one. So the next one will be called on disable. So Let's change this enable to disable. Okay. So we need to disable square selection, disable, and then on disable. Okay. And then let's change this name for this one as well. And we need to, of course, check for on disable square selection. Okay. So we have another event. Let's create two more. So I will just copy it again. And th this one will be will be called whenever we select specific square. So this is going to be the select square. Let's actually remove this name. Select square. So we need to paste it here. And then it's going to be called on select square. Okay. And then select square method. Okay, so make sure you just name it properly and then replace all of the names. So we need one more event. So I will copy this one and then paste it below. So the next one will be called uh, check square. So let's replace the names. So check square on check square. Check square method. On check square and then on check square. Okay, so this is this method will be called to actually check if the selected square is the correct one or the wrong one. And then let's create one more. So I will just copy this, paste it below, and then let's call this one clear selection. So this event will be called whenever we we selected something and then we just release our mouse or 
lift up our our finger so then we want to clear clear all of the selection from the board so clear clear selection method and then on clear selection okay so make sure we have all of those events created so it should be one two three four five of them once you've done it let's uh, save everything and now we can go back to our grid square class and we need to add a few methods here so let's go right below the start function and we need to add a few functions so first one will be void on enable so inside this on enable function we want to assign ourselves to the game events so game events dot on enable square selection plus equal and I will just name the function the same on enable square selection okay we don't have this function yet but we're going to implement it in a second game events dot on disable square selection plus equal let's copy the name game events dot on selected on select square plus equal let's actually call it select square and now let's cr let's create another function right below so it's gonna be private void on disable so inside this on disable function i will copy everything what we have inside the on enable copy copy it here and then make sure you change this plus to minus so we want to unsubscribe from these events okay so make sure you do that so now we need to actually go ahead and implement all of these functions but before before we do that let's uh, go, scroll right at the top and we need to add a few private variables so below the sprite render i will add private bool and this is gonna be selected and then private bool clicked okay so in the start method i will just assign this selected to be equal to false and then clicked to be equal to false okay now we can scroll down let's copy this on enable square selection name and right below the on disable method i will just create this public void on enable square selection okay and inside this on enable square selection i will call the click to be equal to true and then selected to be equal to false so that's it what this function have to do now let's implement this on disable square selection so i will copy this name again and then below this on enable square selection i will put public void on disable square selection okay so inside this function we want to set our selected to be equal to false then clicked to be equal to false so that's it for this function for now so the next function we want to create is this select square so let's copy this name and below this on disable i will put private void select square and we actually need to pass a parameter here so i will pass the vector 3 position and then we want to check if this dot game object dot transform dot position is equal to position if this is the case we want to do the display displayed image dot sprite to be equal to selected letter data dot image but as you see the selected square indicating that there is an error with the 
to assign to this to this event this is because we didn't put the parameter for our event so let's fix this so let's go to our game events class let's go to the selected square and we want to pass to our de delegate vector 3 position position and then we want to take this position and pass it to our select square method as well okay and now we need to pass this position here so this is how our our event should looks make sure you're passing this position and now when we go back to the to the grid square there is no error everything should, seems to be fine okay so now let's scroll right at the bottom of this class and let's create a few more functions so the first one will be private void on mouse down and inside this function let's put on enable square selection so we're going to call this function we're going to enable the square then game events dot enable square selection method then we want to call the function check square check square and then we want to call the display image dot sprite is equal to selected letter data dot image okay right below i will call another private function private void on mouse enter and inside this on mouse enter i will call this check square again okay so that's it and then we're going to call one more unity function which is private void on on mouse up and inside this function we're just going to call two events so game events dot clear selection method and then game event dot disable square selection method okay so that's it so this function will be triggered by unity so this is the standard unity function to handle the mouse input and now let's uh, go ahead and implement this check square function so right below i will put public void check square and then we want to check if selected is equal to false so if this square has not been selected and clicked is equal to true we want to change the selected to be equal to true and then we want to call the game event so the game event dot check square check square method but we want to pass some parameters here because currently we don't know which square we want to check so let's pass the parameters and we will have to change the the definition of this event as well so i want to pass the normal letter data dot letter so we want to know what letter we, we have selected then we want to pass the game object dot transform dot position and then we want to pass the index so there are a few things which we need to actually add to this class now we need to implement this index variable so let's let's do that scroll right at the top and below the clicked i will put private int index will be equal to minus one and then let's create two functions below public void set index int index and we want to do index is equal to index and then we want to get the function have a function to actually return the index so public int get index
return okay so we have this um, index now let's modify this uh, the game event our check square method so i will go back to our game event class and let's scroll down to check square event and then we need to modify this uh, public delegate check square and we want to pass the string letter then we want to pass the vector 3 position square position and an int which is gonna be our square index okay let's copy these parameters and we need to pass the same parameters to our check square method and then we want to populate our function with the letters square position and then square index okay so this is how this event is supposed to be looking make sure you have all of these parameters in and now we can save it let's go back to our game events now uh, sorry game squares grid square and as you see everything looks okay so now let's save everything let's go back to our project let you need to compile everything let's press play and now when you actually click on the square as you see once we click on the square the square is changing changing the color to red okay so this this works fine we can actually now select this square on the grid but this is not uh, our final implementation we want to be able to grab a, the square and then drag across and then select the specific line and then check if this is the our searching word so this is what we're going to do in the next episode so in the next episode we're going to continue this implementation and we're going to finally implement the interaction between the player and the grid so thank you very much for watching if you like this episode please consider uh, leaving a like and if you have any problem with this implementation leave me a comment below this video i will try to help you out so thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next episode.